today across the country is a day to listen. And Jade Roberts has created a space for people to do just that, listen. She's the creator of the podcast, Still Here, Still Healing. Her mission is to bring awareness to the history and lasting impacts of residential schools, as well as the ongoing impacts of colonization. Welcome, Jade. Thank you for having me. Well, you are in your second season with your podcast. Tell us, how did it all get started? Yeah, so second season, so this is about, it's been about two and a half years. Um, it started out just as an idea. Um, didn't really know where I was heading with it because I didn't have the experience of being a podcaster. Um, but I just knew that there was a need for stories to be told in this way. Um, so yeah, I started out with just an idea to talk to residential school survivors um, and just to create a space for them to share their stories and their experiences the way that they want them to be told. Um, and yeah, it just kind of grew from there. So now I speak to um, intergenerational survivors like myself. Um, I've also talked to a 60 scoop survivor and I'm just enjoying telling the stories or um, sharing with other people things that we've been through, things that we're currently going through, um, and even sharing the good things that are happening in our communities as well. So as you mentioned, you are an intergenerational res residential school survivor. How have these conversations helped you? Yeah, um, it's helped me a lot to kind of understand um, my family members and kind of the way that they move through the world um, by having those firsthand experiences, hearing survivor stories and what they've been through. It's, it's really telling, um, you know, the what they've been through and how they move through the world and like how it affects their children and the communities. Um, so it's helped me definitely gain an understanding of family members and also myself um, it's helped me think about who I am as an Indigenous person and like how I want to move through the world. So now if someone is going to be listening to your podcast for the very first time, what do you want them to take away from listening to you? Yeah, so a main thing is, well, I'm a teacher, so I'm an educator. And that's one of the main things with the podcast is like I want people to hear firsthand our stories and take something educational away. Like what can they learn um, from the things that we've been through? What can they learn about Canada? What can they learn about indigenous culture? Um, and so it's really, I really want it to be a learning experience for the listeners. So now what have you been hearing about the conversation to cancel Canada Day? Yeah, I think this is so important right now. Um, people need to recognize and acknowledge um, that Canada has been built on genocide and the colonization of my people. Um, and that's not really something to celebrate. <laughs> so um, with the conversations right now to cancel Canada Day, I think people really need to be listening um, and, and taking part in supporting Indigenous people during this time right now. Um, yeah, I just think it's, it's great timing to, to really stand up for like what we believe in. Um, and, and take action right now. Thank you so much for your time today, Jade. Thanks for having me. Jade Roberts is the creator of the podcast, Still Here, Still Healing. And we were chatting with her at her home in Saskatoon.